Well, that's doing very well for them, isn't it? Calvin Harris and Rag and Bone Man. Fantastic voice. That one's called Giant. And now it's time. My guests have arrived. The first thing I did was get their names wrong. So I'm going to tell you now, in the correct order, who's sitting beside me. First, it's Emma. Hello. Hello, Emma. And then it's Amy. Hi. And then it's Caitlin. Hiya. Oh, dear. So I've got three fantastic performers basically from jesus christ superstar so what's it all about come on what's the buzz tell me (laughs) (laughs) who's going to talk first well (laughs) um we all know the story of jesus and the crucifixion from the bible and this is a slightly different take on it so the show is told from judas's perspective and sort of discusses jesus's rise to fame and then his eventual demise and you're playing? I'm playing Mary Magdalene. There's two of you. That's right, yep. Yeah. I'll be Mary as well. <laughs> and you're Mary as well. That's, so why do you have to have two Marys? You're not in the same performances as Mary, are you? No, we do alternate. So apart from anything, it gives more than one of us an opportunity to perform. Um, but it also means that you've got a natural understudy. So if anything happens to either <laughs> of us, um, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be okay. The show will still go on. So are you both praying that nothing happens to the other one? or are, you Definitely. Know, yeah. <laughs> I am definitely hoping. I just, yeah. I just wondered if you might like a diva moment when you did oh, all no, the Oh, no. There'll be no pushing people downstairs. It'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm pleased to hear that. Uh, so when's this performance taking place? Um, it's taking place um, on the 7th of August through to the 13th. Oh, thanks, Caitlin. And where is it? Where's it going to be? At St. Wolfram's Church. St. Wolfram's Church. And you are one of the amazing dancers. Yes, yes, that's right. You are in the main dance troupe. Yes. And it yes, doesn't yes. matter that the rest of us are rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you do it really, really well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so you, you must be really looking forward to this Oh, too. yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a really, really good show. And um, there's some really good songs in it. I think there's some good, really good singers in it, uh, good uh, bits of movement, a lot of good and people performances. And people will know the songs, won't they? Yes, So yes, they're yes. going to love that, aren't they? <laughs> and so, I've seen you in other things as well, haven't I, Caitlin? Uh, I was in... Um, Phantom of the Opera, which Matthew Hewitt did uh, last year. He um, did, yes. and it was brilliant. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. so well done. So, yes, we ought to give uh, give Matthew a shout out. Hello, Matthew. Hi, Matt. Hi. Oh, dear, because I, I think he's listening. <laughs> I hope so. And uh, he is the producer. Yes. So basically, he tells us, and we do it. Yeah, everybody <laughs> does it. So let me ask, um, who's going to answer this one? So, how did you get into performing? Who's going to answer that? Shall I start? Go yeah. For it. yeah, you start. Um, well, I always enjoyed acting and drama and pretending, and um, it just sort of went on from there. So I was always in drama clubs and doing little shows at my school. From what sort of age are we talking about here? Um, so I joined the drama club at my school when I think I was in year three. So quite early on, I was yeah. incredibly shy. But luckily, that's gone now. I just, I, 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 you don't come across as shy. That's good. <laughs> Not at all. So what about you now? What what got you into performing? Uh, well, again, when I was younger, I quite enjoyed um, doing performance and things. And uh, I did A-levels. And, uh, and then after that, I kind of went away from it a little bit. And I started working at Grantham College. And... Um, they needed a performing arts technician and I was in that area and it was something I was interested in so for the last 11 years I've been their performing arts technician so I've been watching other people perform instead of doing it myself and then it got to a point where because I worked with Matt he'd said look I'm putting this show on he'd opened it up to all ages um, because he'd done a lot of youth theatre before and so I thought go on then I'll give it a go and luckily I managed to get a a principal role in it. So is this this, um, we're talking to... Amy. Amy, yeah. You see, I've forgotten already. <laughs> um, we're talking to Amy. So is this your first This is my first main performance, yeah. I have done. I did a few different things sort of when I was a teenager. I was in a few sort of little variety performances, but this is the first thing that I've ever had to sing in front of real people for. So, <laughs> so yeah. in front of real people. Real people. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on for a whole week, folks. So you've got plenty of chance to get tickets and go and see this. And uh, if you've read the reviews of other things that Matthew's done, like Phantom, and what else has he done? Did you, Miss Saigon, was that one of his? Yeah, Miss Saigon. Locally. He's at, done. Oh. Les Miserables as well. Yeah, yeah, he's had Annie with one of his younger youth groups. He's done so many different so things. So many different things. And they're all absolutely brilliant. West 
best end quality would you agree definitely 100 <laughs> percent. okay well we'll talk some more in just a moment going to play you a song now freya ridings and we were all just saying that's my guests and i that uh, we really would like to sing like that <laughs> and uh, i ought to have asked you what your favorite records were and i could have worked them in couldn't i that was very remiss Aww. of me so who has been the greatest influence on you in getting you into a performing frame of mind um, I'd have to say my singing teacher. Um, I've had him. He's called Jim, and he's been teaching me for about six years now. Um, and before I started lessons, I was a bit rubbish. Um. Uh, no, she wasn't. <laughs> no, she wasn't. <laughs> this is Emma talking now. I've heard her sing. <laughs> um, but I have him to thank for really quite a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's that's nice. Right. So moving on, let's go. Let's go over to Caitlin. Well, I think. Firstly, my parents, because they've been really supportive about it and encouraged me. But I think in terms of actually performing, Matt, because I think him teaching me has sort of... He's taught me all these different skills and um, he's helped me to choose um, and go for auditions in drama schools, which is something that I'd really like to do and I'm looking to do in the future. And I think that would really help me to... What sort of a drama school are you looking to apply to? A few. I've got one in Bristol, one in um, Birmingham, one in London. So just sort of all over the place. I'm not particularly fussy. I'd just like to get into one. <laughs> Quite nice places, all yeah. big places. Yeah. I, bet, I bet the social life is amazing. <laughs> so that's wonderful. I hope your mum's not listening to that. <laughs> we don't no, want... she helped me. <laughs> oh, she, would she help you? Oh, bless her. That, that's wonderful. So proudest moment from your performance CV. That's going to be hard for you. I know Amy. yeah <laughs> yeah uh, my proudest moment I think would be doing the auditions really? and actually getting through an audition I was really nervous unbelievably nervous for the first one and the second one I think because we had each other we were the all four of us who who went for the part of Mary were all together so we mm. kind of we had each other's backs a little bit yeah. even though we were against each other in a way we were still quite supportive of each other so but getting through that whole process for me was a big deal so what was the audition like what did you sing first of all um for the mary certain ones there's three songs that mary sings she sings uh everything's I, all right yeah i don't um, know how to love i know him. i don't know how to love him and then she sings could the, we start again, yeah please? could we start again please so we had little little bits of each of those songs that we had to sing and sometimes we had to one person would start and then the next person would take over the next verse so it was it was really interesting. I've never done anything like it before. So yeah, did you have to sing that. anything that wasn't from the show? Is that, is that part of the audition? My original audition, I, I sang a song that wasn't in the show. It wasn't even a, a musical song. So I sang a, a song called um, called Gravity by Sarah Barry Ellis. Oh yes, so, like that. Yeah. So that was my original. You know, you're one. on Gravity FM, don't you? I know. I know <laughs> exactly. So I, it, I could have got perfect. you to sing that, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> right. What about you, Caitlin? What's your proudest moment on your performance? Scene? TV. Probably um, last year in Phantom, because for, for one of the performances I was uh, lucky enough to be cast as Meg, and I think having done that I'd never sung on stage before, um, I'd never sung in a performance, and I was obviously really nervous, but I was really proud of the fact that I'd done that and was able to sing in front of um, a fair few people. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I can't imagine any of you being nervous. <laughs> um, I've, I've got actually got a bevy of beauties here in the studio. I've got Caitlin, Amy and Emma and they are all starring in Jesus Christ Superstar, which is going to be at St Wolfram's Church in August. With I think we've decided it starts on the 7th. Yes. We're not absolutely certain, <laughs> but you know I'm going to give you plenty of warning and tell you where to get your tickets. But uh, it's it's going to be fantastic. What do you think of the venue? I'd never seen it before until there was um, an introduction evening to the show and the production crew and what they were planning to do with the whole thing. And, yeah, I'd never really been to Grantham or seen the church or anything until I walked in. And I think it's going to be an amazing show in such a wonderful venue. It's a fabulous church altogether. And have you, have you performed in churches before, any of you? I have, so I was in Jesus Christ Superstar in 2016 at Lincoln Cathedral. Wow. Well, so. we're not quite as big as that, but we're <laughs> just as good. <laughs> Definitely just as good. And, the, and you two? Are you, um, no. No. no not even for, like, a, a school school production or anything. No. no just, yeah, this would theaters. be Theatres. It's theatres yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> OK, well, I think I better play us a song, and then we're probably going to have to say goodbye to our three lovelies who have come in from Jesus Christ Superstar to 
to tell us all about it, uh, mainly because they've got to dash off for rehearsal very, very soon. Great song there from Semisonic. That's called Closing Time. And it is uh, almost closing time for my guests because they've got to go off and rehearse, which is terribly, terribly sad. In fact, this is a, it's very strange. I've just watched Mary Magdalene eat a chocolate biscuit, <laughs> which is really out of character. <laughs> so uh, I think they might be enjoying their trip to the Gravity FM studios. But uh, let's talk about the people that are putting this together for us. So who's going to talk? But don't all look at me. We've mentioned Matt. We've mentioned him quite a lot. But there are others, aren't there, that are giving us some superb tuition. There is. The, um, we've got Lee, uh, Lee Harvey, who is also our Jesus. Um, oh, and he so looks like he Jesus. He does. He looks, he's got the beard. He's got the hair. So, yeah, he's... He's doing a great job with us, but also he's going to do a fab job as Jesus. Well, he is, isn't he? You know when you have to sort of adore him? <laughs> That's not oh, difficult, is it, it's really? It's not. He's a lovely man. <laughs> and what about the dancing, Caitlin? Um, we've got um, Adam teaching the dancing slash movement, because it's not very dance-based. There's some dance dancing moments, but it's mainly sort of movement, so he's teaching us all. Yeah. It's almost like patterns, isn't it? Little. Yeah, it's... it's, it's small sequences i'd say of, of movement that are sort of sometimes repeated and just yeah just a series of of movements that can go with the the songs that are in the in the musical and we're taking quite a different take on on the way it's performed i don't think jesus christ is always performed in this way it's going to be it's going to be a really interesting show to see it's going to be something that people haven't seen before i think definitely well, I, I, certain, I certainly get that impression. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. It's a rock opera, isn't it? Yes. It is a rock <laughs> opera. Right. It's, it's, quite, it's quite 70s in its vibe, but it's still really current as well. Mm. And mm. most people will know the songs. And oh, it's yeah. in a beautiful venue. So, And it's going to be just different, isn't it? It's going to be amazing. Some of the, the set and things that have been designed by um, Neil Martin... It, it's just phenomenal some of the things are just going to be we've got these huge big towers that are sort of 12 foot high it's going to be amazing and the acoustics in the church are just phenomenal yeah just the combination of, of everything yeah. like, all brought together I think is just going to be great <laughs> yeah amazing <laughs> so Emma I'm not going to let you off the hook when we were talking in the break there when we had the biscuits <laughs> and I said it's a rock opera what did you say I said Lee who pr- who plays Jesus brings the rock and I bring the opera. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's going to be a fantastic show. Just like to thank you very much for coming in to talk. I'm going to have to let you get off now and go and rehearse. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you very much for having us. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Anyway, I hope it all goes well tonight. I would say break a leg, but it doesn't seem quite right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Bye. Well, that was my guests. That was uh, Caitlin, Emma and Amy. They came in to talk about Jesus Christ Superstar and they did it, did it very, very well indeed.